Hello, my name is Pokemon Player and I am back with Pokemon Y Parfum Palace. Now, I know I haven't done it in a while, but I have got a new method of recording. I'm recording on a normal camera, so it's a bit blurred and quite bright. Uh, you may not be able to see it right. Yeah, you can't see that writing at all, can you? So I'll read it. Where could it be? He's shouting, because it's all jagged. My Furfru, which is a new poodle Pokemon. My beloved little Furfru has disappeared. And here's our friend Shauna. Uh, if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick of worry. So I slightly forgot, I was looking outside and it is chucking it down. But, now, this camera has a limit as to how much you can record, and uploading takes a while. But, pardon me, any wild Pokemon battles, whilst I use this method of recording, will be cut out. Yeah, uh, uh, unless something important happens, like if I catch it, or when I evolve or if I evolve afterwards. But anyway, that's enough about me. I think the best thing to do is just get this over and done with. So you go out into the garden, which is very impressive. As you can see, there's a statue over there. You probably can't see it that well, but there is a Golurk, a Palpitoad, then there seems to be a Knight, and that's it. I was just trying to think if there's a third Pokemon. Oh. Sorry about anything in the background, that was just me watching something. I'll have a look in back. Sorry, my girl voice is rubbish. As you can see here, we have a statue of Reshiram. And if you follow its gaze past the water fountain, you will see that it leads to a statue of Zekrom. Now you can go behind these trees and each of these hedges has been cut to look like a certain Pokemon. This one has been modelled into a solid rock. Uh, this one down here, if I am right, ooh, item. Sorry, a bit of an item. I think yeah, this one was meant to be Pyro, which is the evolved Litlia, a new Pokemon. This one is meant to be Chandelure. There's a TM in here. Cut! Perfect! We finally got it. Uh, this one's meant to be Chandelure, the evolved of... Um, Lampen, which is the evolved Litwick. And then the fourth one wasn't really designed for anything. If you can't tell, that's a fair through, that that's the fair through. And we it was kind of designed so we could chase it. Oof. I don't know, I'm guessing that's what it meant. Right. The best thing to do is actually right basically basically it's like a miniature puzzle which has never happened in a Pokemon game but you have to tell her where to stand so the fair through gets led to a dead end now you actually tell her to stand here you tell her to stand there and chase the fair through up there. And then come talk to her to get her to move to a different place. And if you tell her to wait here or on the other end, if you tell her to wait there, you should be able to approach it from here and you've run into a dead end. Just like that. We 
come on, because you understand how big my feel. No, it's because I've done this before. Now, if you've watching my channel, you'll know there is a uh, Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby video. Pardon me. You'll know there's a video about Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. I've already pre-ordered the game, and as soon as I get it, I will make some videos on it. I am going to completely, and I am going to completely do it blind. No help on, with no help from walkthroughs, so everything's going to be a mystery. Well, I say that, but I know what the legendaries are, but what I mean is, it's going to be a blind playthrough. So not like this one where I've played it at least three. This is like this is the third time I've played it. Fourth if you count the one I did on my brothers. So it's going to be completely blind. So I won't know anything. Uh, I haven't played the original Ruby Sapphire or Emerald. So it's even more blind. Anyway, what they were saying is he's putting on a fireworks display to uh, congratulate us for finding Fair Fruit. We have to go upstairs and go upstairs and down to here, which is really dark. And it's this massive hallway. This side is completely mirrored, but on this side, there's a little opening you can use to get to the balcony, which has an amazing view of the place. Walk up to Shauna. It's the middle of the day. You really shouldn't be able to see fireworks, but see, she's getting really nervous. You would though, wouldn't you? I've never watched fireworks with a boy before. You would get nervous though, wouldn't you? It's like a date, but it's not a date. You just work together, so you both get the reward. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Pokemon player. See, it really sticks in your head though. It's amazing how quickly they actually set up these fireworks though. I mean, they managed to set up all of these. To go off at all the uh, at the exact right time, and the amount of time we ran from the garden up to here. That was amazing. I never want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. I probably will forget it. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur fruit. Yeah, I said it was our reward, but it's not. Our reward is the poke flute, which we need to wake up Snarl at. I'll probably catch him. Oh, I forgot. The Poke Flute! That's right, we need the flute to wake up Snorlax. <sighs> the Poke Flute, huh? Go get it. Go on, butler. It was Shabonia Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. I'll give it to them. God, you make him do everything! Here is the Poke Flute. Put it in the key <laughs> items pocket. Little moment you see. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. Yes, but you took it as payment. You can't give that back. I want to make lots of memories on my journey. But I think I'll try and forget about him. <laughs> That's nice. You can't imagine how stressful running the place is for him. Uh, he probably gets you to do all the work. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the Palace Library. It had something to do with what you'd now call a trainer holding mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. TM17, protect. Protect, blo protect blocks opposing Pokemon's moves. But if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you will excuse me, I shall take my leave. 
The owner of Shabaneer Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? He has to be sure to give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. You know, I'm kind of planning my team ahead now. At the moment, I have Tree Smasher, Fire Tornado, Scray and Pidgeotto. And I think the other two slots will be Lucaria. So, I have two that can Mega Evolve. And the Snorlax we're about to catch. Anyway. Uh, there's about three minutes left. <laughs> so, I guess that's all there's time for. Which means it's time for my shout out section. You all know I do shout outs every week. Uh, uh, the shout outs have gradually increased as well. Just sitting on the chair. This week there's eight and nine shout outs. Uh, and these shout outs go to. Uh, I'm doing it in alphabetical order. So, first is B for Blitzwinger. He's an awesome gamer. Very funny. Bit of an idiot. He acknowledges that, so it's not mean in any way. Uh, next one is C, which is College Humor and Cinema Sins. College Humor is hilarious, but it helps if you are a college student. And Cinema Sins are quite interesting. Uh, D for Dorfly and the Dex. Dorfly is hilarious. They do parodies on Pokemon. Then parodies on Pokemon, Mario, Sonic. It's quite funny. And the decks, a weekly battle strategy and trivia. With the extra decks, the battle decks, uh, and the regular decks. It's quite fun to watch. There is also J for the J Wits. I miss someone. No, don't think it's James the Kavis. So, uh, your main man for all Nintendo news. And where I actually found out about the Pokemon Alpha, Saf Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby games. Um, P, the Cure of the Cat. Now, if you're watching this, it is highly likely that you have subscribed to him already because he's funny, most subscribed person on YouTube and mostly does action and horror games. Then there is my close personal friend Starshine Gamer. Uh, he's also done an Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire video. He did try to mention me but he kind of forgot my name. I know, embarrassing. But it's alright. I just put a comment in. Uh, and that's it, I think. Uh, if I've missed anyone out, I'll be sure to add them next time. But this is Pokemon Player. Signing out. Sorry, I was just checking to see if it was still...